Lisandro Martinez is officially a red devil and United has really put him out onto the social media platforms of Manchester United. Don't into that red jersey of United in the for you. Welcome to United Matters channel. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? Smash the like button, comment and share if you're watching us for the very first time. Endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Now guys, today it's really another day of excitement around United fans because for the very first time, we have gotten a chance to see Lisandro Martinez don't into that red jersey of United in the for you. The away jersey and the home jersey in the for you. That is the man who goes by Lisandro Martinez. Remember yesterday, United unveiled Christian Eriksen in the for you, and they really told us that he is really a red devil and everything is going on as planned. It looks like United are really planning to go in and bring in the signing as soon as possible because the way they are really announcing Martinez and and Ericsson officially shows you that there might be something that is going to break soon in here onto United Matters channel. That's why I always tell you that please keep it a point to be here onto this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in a daily. How do you do that? Subscribe to our channel after subscribing. Hit the notification bell that enable you get notified each and every time we upload a video onto this channel in there for you. Now, this is what United really put up that. Lisandro Martinez has completed his transfer from Ajax to Manchester United, signing a contract until 2027 with the option to extend for a further year in there for you. So he is really here until 2027. How many years are those? Those are five years with an option to extend for a further year. Those are six years for this lad in there for you. 25 years of age, not bad signing, coming in at United, and he's really a player who can play as a central defender, left back, and a central defensive midfielder in there for you. Welcome, Lisandro Martinez, to Manchester United. Lisandro Martinez, in his maiden speech, as he really faced the media of Manchester United, he really said, it's a honor to join this great football club. I've worked so hard to get this moment and now that I'm here, I'm going to push myself even further. So, these are kind of players that were frankly told, told the board to sign. However, much they really parted ways with United board, but I'm really happy that I'm seeing the players that at least United signing for good money. They are really players on the first contract. They are young <coughs> and they are aggressive. Malasia is young and aggressive. Lisandro Martinez is young and aggressive. Ericsson came in on a free transfer, that's why he brought him in. But for him, you see that we are missing such a quality on the field of play in the for you. And he came in for free. So I don't, I don't expect you to go in and really spend money on a 30 year old player like buying him officially from a club to bring to Manchester United. That's why I'm really having issues with United bending glove for Cristiano Ronaldo in the for you, keeping him here in the for you. Yet he really wants to go. Let the lad go in the for you. So Lisandro Martinez has told us that he has worked so much to be here and he's pushing his self even further. So we wait to see what this lad is really going to bring in here into the Premier League at United in the for you. Now, he has gone to tell us that I've been lucky enough to be part of the success of the successful teams in my career and that's what I want to continue at Manchester United. There will be a lot of work to get to the moment but I firmly believe that under this manager, and with my new teammates, we can do it in the for you. That is a man who goes by names of Lisandro Martinez coming in and really telling us what about it, what he thinks about United in the for you. So lots of things are really happening at United. Lisandro Martinez is happy to join Manchester United, and there is the technical director of Manchester United, that is John Mortaf, had lots of things to say in the for you when this lad was unveiled as a United player in there for you. Straight onto the website of United. That's where I'm taking you. That Lisandro Martinez has completed his move to Manchester United in there for you. When you look at Joe Motaf, this is what he said. Can I bring it on your screen? All right, you guys always want it on your screen. So let me bring it on your screen because you guys will come in here and say, Rokani, you've cheated us. I don't want to cheat you guys. So this is what he said. He said, Manchester United football director said, Lisandro is an outstanding player who will bring further quality and experience to Eric Ten Hag's squad. We are delighted that he has chosen to join Manchester United and we are looking forward to seeing him develop further and help the team achieve the success we are aiming for in the for you. That is the technical director of United, that is Joe Motaf, promising that we've brought a player who is going to add more talent and 
quality to the squad of United in the foyer. So that is Lisandro Martinez. Welcome him to Manchester United and really see him really go to the next level of his career in here at Manchester United. This is the photo of him really signing for United in the for you and that is him in the for you holding that pen and putting pen to that contract via the website of Manchester United. Lisandro Martinez is really that kind of player who is so much gifted and talented according to me. He's gifted and talented. He has good qualities on the ball. That's why United have really gone in for him. And he's finally here. And he is finally a red devil. And everyone is really welcoming him and happy to be having him at the club in there for you. Let me show you. Let me show you more photos. Let me show you more photos. More photos of Lisandro Martinez. That's how he was done into that jazz of United. This is the home kit. Him signing the papers. That is Lisandro Martinez. United's new left footed central defender, Lisandro Martinez. Remember, he snubbed Arsenal and came in at Manchester United. But most of the questions would be relying on his height. I tell people that his height is nothing. People are so much saying that. Um, people are so much saying that. Um, they are so much saying that uh, he's short, and they're they're so much. They're so much. Uh, bring a comparison of him with Fabio Cannavaro, who was really a great of Italy and really won the World Cup and won the Ballon d'Or. But to me, I have the best example of Cavallo. Ricardo Cavallo, who played at Chelsea under the era of Jose Mourinho, was really a kind of player who really was in the same stature and height of Lisandro Martinez. He was just taller than Lisandro Martinez by 0 0.08 meters. You get so, it shows you that they are almost the same height. But Cavallo played very well in the Premier League. And by the time, the Premier League was so much full of teams that really crossed the ball. I think you guys remember in there for you. He was really a person who really used to really defend a lot for a side which goes by the names of... By the names of Ricardo Cavallo. Very many players by then were so much hindered, all hinged on what we call crossing those balls and strikers scored very many goals when it came to those crosses in there for you. And I really believe that however much the crosses are really still in the Premier League, but very many teams are not so much into that crossing game of football in there for you. Because back in the days, they used to be playing a typical 4-4-2 with a right winger and a left winger. And their main aim was really to bring in those crosses in there for you. And in most teams, it was hard to see a fullback really cross. You get bringing in crosses. It was all about the right wing and the right wing and left winger to come in and cross those balls either for you. But all I can tell you about this is that this lad is talented. His height doesn't matter because he faced Erling Haaland in the Champions League and you know what happened into that tussle. Who won that? It was Lisandro Martinez in the for you. Now I'm having something from the from the Ajax website. They are telling us that Ajax for the future, these are his stats. Passing accuracy 92%, progressive passing 89%. Defensive duels won 69.2% in there for you. What a player that they've really brought in here. This is him under Eric Ten Hag, his current manager right now at Manchester United. So that is the lad who goes by names of Lisandro Martinez. So guys, welcome Lisandro Martinez. Smash the like button, comment and share. Tell me what you think about Lisandro Martinez joining Manchester United in here to this channel because it's really a very fundamental signing and I know more signings are really coming in through. I've seen people coming in and saying United is not signing players in the real time that we wanted them. Guys, you think Rome was built in one day? Let's trust the process this time around. You know, for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, I never trusted the process because we are not having a manager who is good at coaching. But here, we are having a manager who is going to improve these players and is good at coaching and is proven. So, for him, we are trusting the process. I mean, when he was coming, when he was coming in here at Manchester United, I think he really signed a contract. He knows how much money they're supposed to be giving him to reinforce the squad. And he knows he's here to build for the future. And let's know to really come in here and judge the board right now. Because this window might end up when it has brought in seven players. What are you going to say? I know most of you will say that no, they would have brought them early enough. That's what they would have said. But trust me or not, the players will be at Manchester United. And they will be players of Manchester United. And trust me, very many players don't need to come in here and really be with the club and train with us. One, Ten Hag 
knows these players that he's bringing in here for you. And most of the players he's bringing easily fit in the tag system. But these ones that have been at United are the ones that should go in and really fit in the system of Ten Hag as we speak right about now. Because it's them that have not yet tested the wrath of the system of Ten Hag. But Martinez knows, even if Dijon comes in today, all tomorrow we need is going to play Liverpool, you get, or on the 6th when you're playing Brighton, Ten Hag can field him on the field of play, provided these other players that at United have understood the system of Ten Hag fully. So it's all about these other players of United to understand how the system of Ten Hag operates. When they really get to know how his system operates 100%, then these others that are the, that unit is going to sign will really fit in like a glove that's what i really know so lisandro martinez is here we are waiting for his chat number and obviously where is he going to play obviously i have a feeling that many people are really saying that he's going to play the central defense obviously he's going to be the central defense but sometimes in those tough games like liverpool man city he's going to be dropped into the midfield that's what i know because he'll come in and play in the midfield because we don't have a defensive midfielder that's going to get the job done. I 100% believe that if Lisandro Martinez was in the game of Aston Villa that we played in Perth, our last game of the preseason tour, I really believe that Ten Hag would have brought another central defender and then told Lisandro Martinez, please push into the central midfield because we lacked control into that midfield. So I will believe that in tougher games like Liverpool, Man City, Arsenal, he'll play him in the defensive midfield and in games that are really winnable. You'll see to him, you'll see that Ten Hag is playing with Ericsson, um, Freddie, or, or Danny Van Bink, then Bruno ahead of them. You get, that's how we believe our midfield is going to stand as this Lisandro Martinez deal is really coming to accomplishment. Unveiled as a United player, he's officially a Red Devil and welcome him to Manchester United in the field. Lisandro Martinez officially donned into that jersey of United, the home kit and the away kit. He's looking great in the view and we are waiting to see him really going into the books of history as one of the best defenders into the Premier League because he's talented and we are just waiting to see him applying his skills and talent onto the field of play in the field. Remember yesterday, they came to Carrington with a player who goes by the name of Ericsson, and Ericsson is the first to be announced, and then Lisandro Martinez is onto this side. Remember, he came in from Ajax at 50, I think it's 50, how many? 58 million euros, close to 46 million pounds either for you. That's the amount of money that you need to pay it for, and another 10 million pounds of add-ons in there for you. Thank you guys for watching in. I sign out for now. See you later because it's time for me and you to really enjoy Lisandro Martinez. Watch this video, like it, and show a lot of love to this video because you guys are real amazing and you've always kept it. United Matters Television, United Matters Channel. This is what we had for you for today. Lisandro Martinez. It's up for you. Welcome him in the very, in the very applicable way possible into your team of United. I'm out.